So you want to create a squash and stretch rig for your character. Now I'm going to be showing you as an example on this little owl character rig how to add this squash and stretch rig. And the nice thing is that you can pretty much add this to any existing rig. So even if you want to open an old rig or you decide to add it later, it's pretty simple to implement. So we're going to start by adding a lattice object. So if you go to your add menu under armature, you will see the object here called lattice. Now what we need to do is fit this to our character. Now I actually like to go about using this add-on called Fit Lattice, which will just automatically fit it to my character and add the lattice modifier with it selected. But that's a paid add-on, so let's go through the full process here. Now the lattice modifier works a bit different than other objects. So you would assume that what you would wanna do is tab into edit mode and shape this to your character size. However, adjusting these points in edit mode will uh, deform your object. So you actually need to scale the object. So we'll go ahead here, I'm gonna move this up here to the bottom, and then I'm gonna scale this in a bit on the X to match my character. I'm gonna come here on the Y and scale this in a bit, and then just move back in here. Perfect. And now that fits around our character there, and you don't want to apply the scale. So if you apply the scale, it will apply it to the edit points, and then when you attach your character, it will actually deform the character, which is not what we wanna do. So what I'm going to do is come here under the lattice object settings, and you'll see here that we have various settings. Now here you can set the resolution. So normally you would wanna up the resolution so that you would have more control over deforming your character. Let's see what that looks like. Go ahead here, add a modifier here, and we're going to add a lattice modifier and select the lattice object. Now it is attached, so now when we tab into edit mode, you can see we can move our character around and by having more points, we have more control. In this case, we actually want a lower resolution. So set all these to two, perfect. Now we only have the four points on the top and the four points on the bottom to worry about. So now we have our lattice attached to our character. And as you can see here, it almost works to kind of squish our character, but two things. One, we need to attach it to our rig, and two, we wanna kind of prevent this fall through. So back under this lattice menu where we change the resolution, you can actually change the interpolation. So by default, it's set to B spline, which will give you a smoother fall off, but it's also going to allow it to break out of the bounding box. So what you can do is adjust these various settings in here. So we're gonna go ahead and change these to linear. And you'll see here that since this is the W value, when we change that to linear, you can see that now our character is fitting within that box. Great. So you can go ahead and reset that setting there. Perfect. Now, what we are going to do is go ahead and attach this to our rig as well. To make this simple, what we're going to do is tab into edit mode here again on our lattice. We're going to grab the four top points here and we're going to search and we're going to look for hook to new object. Select that. Now, what that does is gives us an object here that we can use to move our character around. Now, what we're going to do is grab the bottom here Grab these bottom points. Make sure you don't have the top point selected anymore. Hook to new object again. Let's go ahead and name these. I'm gonna name this top one squash. And then this bottom one, I'm going to name squash anchor. So if we grab these, you can see that now we're getting kind of the desired results. You can go ahead, grab this bottom one here, scale it out so that you kind of get that proper volume. And just a side note, as we move into the rigging, as you can see here, we're moving down to get this to squash and is squishing our character down. But just for those new to animation, whenever you do squash and stretch, you always need to ensure that your character maintains the same volume. So what you would wanna do is also kind of scale that out so that you kind of maintain the same amount of volume when they squish, just a tiny little animation tip. So lastly, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tab into edit mode on whatever your rig is. We're going to add a new bone. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this new bone to the top in the position of the squash and just shrink that down. And then I'm going to duplicate that bone and just move that down next to the bottom one. Now you can go ahead and name these bones. I'm gonna name this top one squash and we'll name this bottom one anchor. Then what you wanna do is shift select both of those bones and they're not parented to anything right now because we just added them. And you're gonna wanna parent them to the root of your character. So let's go ahead, hit Control P, keep offset. Great. Now, when we switch back out into object mode, we can grab pose there. Let's just grab both of those bones, come to the bone tab here and turn off deform. And this will just prevent us from 
having any issues with it potentially affecting the rest of our rig. And you'll see here now that when you move the root around that your, uh, your character will move around and those bones will follow. Great. Now what we need to do is go ahead, grab this squash here, and we're going to shift click our armature, tab into pose mode, and grab the squash bone. Make sure that's the only bone selected. Hit control P, and we're going to parent that to the bone. Now, when we move this around, you can see it is moving our hook object, which is attached to our lattice and giving us a squash effect. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing. Tap back out to object mode, grab the squash anchor, grab the armature, switch to pose mode, grab that bottom anchor, hit control P and bone. Perfect. Now we can see that when we move our character uh, around, we can go ahead and use this kind of squash button up here to squish our character. Perfect. Now you may notice that when you grab the root, it starts to kind of smear around. And that's because when the root is moving around, it is causing the anchors to move around, but not the entire lattice. So that's actually a very simple fix. Just go ahead, tap back out here into object mode, grab the lattice modifier here, then shift click here. And yet again, we will parent that to the root. And by parenting that lattice to the root, we can now grab our root and move things around normally, but we also have access to our squash and stretch. Now let's just clean these things up a bit visually. Now I like to put all of these in a collection here and call this squash control. And none of these really need to be visible or even checked on. So if you go ahead, check those off, they will no longer be visible in your scene, but they will still work. Now, the last thing I want to point out is the modifier order. So when you come over here to the modifier stack, you can go ahead and you can put this before either one. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add just a squish here, scale that out a bit. And then if you play, you'll see that it's still working on my animation. Now you can determine where you want that lattice modifier to be. It works above and below the armature, but will change how it works. I generally keep it above above the armature because I want to add that squash and stretch just vertical. And by moving that below, it will kind of affect other various portions of the mesh. So just decide whatever looks best there for you.